Today I'm going to take you on a quick garden tour, super quick, and then we're going to paint a peony together. Let's get started. So here's a really quick garden tour. This is what happens when I open up my door and the peonies are in full bloom. It's like going from Kansas into Oz. It's so dramatic. And I just wanted to show you some really quick pictures of what my gardens look like right now. All the peonies have come to bloom at exactly the same time. So I am a little bit uh, over enthusiastic and excited because there is so much to do. It is definitely time to get busy. And I, of course, will. As soon as the rain comes, these things are going to disintegrate and they'll be all gone. I know there are ways to keep peonies for months and months and months. And I've done that before, but uh, I don't have an extra refrigerator to do that. And right now, amazingly, food is more important than peonies. The other thing that I wanted to say before we start the narration of this particular peony is that uh, I've noticed in my videos that I use a, a space, I did it right there, that ah, I'm really trying to talk without having those pauses, which is difficult because I'm thinking at the same time. So I'm going to try my best. I'm kind of metacognitively monitoring myself. What you see above are all the value dabs of the colors that I'm going to use in this painting. I don't know why they're there already. I usually do them as I paint. They might have been left over from a peony that I painted before this. I don't remember. There's been some footage that's gotten lost, and then there's also been, like I said, when you paint one peony, I, I just start to lose my, not my concentration, but it's very hard for me to remember which one, which one is which. <laughs> anyway, they're all my children, and I, I love them all. So what's happening here? Uh, what is happening here is that I am looking at the individual value shapes. So if you've watched this channel, you know that I do that. I'm not making value dabs as I go along. I must be referring to the value dabs that I've already put up in the right-hand corner. It's already know what my values are. I haven't mixed those colors up. I'm just referring to them because I remember them from the last peony that I painted. So I am not painting petal by petal because there are so many of them. I have to reduce it down into individual shapes if I can. And I'm evaluating for myself what's darker and what is relatively lighter. And then I'm also attempting to keep the whites of my paper white. Now, I know it looks a little strange because that blue is there, but I am using that blue as a value swap out. The swap out for what appears to be sort of a grayish tone on the peonies. Because if I was to paint the grayish tone, which I could do, and I've done it before, but peonies tend to look a little bit um, not as vibrant if we use gray. So instead, I'm going to use a blue. Not that I'm not using neutrals. You can see there's some neutrals going on in there. But those neutrals are accomplished not by my mixing them up, by, but by the triads that I'm using. What I'm using as a triad here, for the most part, is cerulean blue, a... Oh gosh, what is the pink? How can I now forget this? I use this color all the time. Let me think about it for a second, and I'll I'll, I'll put it in the video. Um, it's an it's it's a uh, permanent rose, of course. It's a permanent rose. So it's cerulean blue, permanent rose, and then Naples yellow. For the most part, almost this whole painting is done with that until I get into the background. Now you know I've talked before about not wanting to have an island surrounded by oceans painting. So I am attempting to not have this peony be in the center of the paper and then nothing around it. I probably should have had it go off the edges even more than I did, but I'm going to try to incorporate it in terms of the uh, ocean that surrounds it by using colors that I've already used in the peony and also trying to mirror some of the value shapes that are in the peony. And that was my final conclusion for how to do that. Uh, I think it's pretty successful. It is definitely an island surrounded by ocean, but um, I think I, I'm, I'm going to live with it. I feel like it kind of works. So we're going to go with that. So as always, remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, and you can see the whites that I left there. And I will see you next time. Oh, and please ask a friend to join my YouTube channel because I'd love to see it keep growing. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.